Well, the Trump list came something of a surprise today, but it is clear someone had been working on it for quite a while. Chief Legal Correspondent Shannon Bream is at the U.S. Supreme Court tonight to tell us which names stand out and perhaps which ones were left out. Good evening, Shannon. Good evening, Brett. Well, this list is a mix of state and federal judges. They're not academics or lawmakers, so that means they've got a paper trail that's out there for public consumption. Let's take a look at some of the top contenders. Judge Stephen Colleton serves on the Eighth Circuit. He was appointed by President George W. Bush, went to Princeton, then Yale Law, and he clerked for a conservative icon, Chief Justice William Rehnquist, here at the Supreme Court. Judge Diane Sykes has long been on the conservatives' wish list. While there are currently three female justices on the court, they are all liberal, and court watchers have felt Sykes maybe could be a counterbalance. She, too, was appointed by Bush 43 and serves on the Seventh Circuit, where she's ruled against tough gun restrictions. Yet another federal judge appointed by President George W. Bush, William Pryor, serves on the Eleventh Circuit. He's a former Alabama attorney general who was caught up in a Democratic filibuster. He was a recess appointment originally to the bench, but his permanent appointment to the bench was part of a deal reached by the bipartisan gang of 14 in the Senate back in 2005. Top contenders serving at the state level include Utah Supreme Court Justice Thomas Lee. He once clerked here for Justice Clarence Thomas. He's the brother of Senator Mike Lee, who has also been mentioned as a possible Supreme Court pick. And they're both the sons of former Solicitor General Rex Lee. Texas Supreme Court Justice Don Willett is also on this list. He worked in the Bush administration, and he's not your typical jurist. He's got a very entertaining Twitter feed, including several tweets in recent months aimed right at Mr. Trump, including this one, quote, Donald Trump haiku. Who would the Donald name to SCOTUS? The mind reels, weeps, can't finish tweets. Well, tonight, Justice Willett finds himself on that list, along with several other contenders that, interestingly enough, from, come from states that could be very key in the fall. We're, we're talking Colorado, Pennsylvania, Minnesota, Missouri, among others. And that could be an important point of why some of those folks ended up on this list. Brett. And some of them didn't know they were going to be on it. Yeah. Uh, Shannon, thank you.